Okay, so tying into a climbing harness, we'd uh, probably want to use a re-threaded figure of eight. That involves making a figure of eight, then uh, passing it through your harness, and then re-threading using the end of the rope uh, to create uh, what is effectively a figure of eight on the bite, but attached to your harness. So the first thing we want to do is do a, uh, take an arm's length of rope, and at that point there, uh, where if I have my right hand uh, with the uh, end of the strand with my left hand finishes we make the figure of eight okay so we're going to take the loop join the two strands together we're going to strangle it I go over and around it and then poke it through the loop or poke it through the eyes so strangling it there and then poking it through the eyes keeping it all attached to your left hand uh, will mean that you get the figure of eight in a pretty good place. Now what we don't want to do is tighten that up too much because we're going to go through it again with another bit of rope in a minute. After that we want to thread our harness. So with a three-point harness we're going uh, connecting the leg loops, these bits here, with the waist hot strap and we're going to pull in as tight as possible. What we want to do is try and uh, make the loop that's created as small as possible. Now from there you will see um, we've got a figure of eight and we want to use the strand that I'm holding with my right hand to then uh, go through again following the strand that's already made the figure of eight. If it goes over, go over. If it goes under, go under. So the first bit here goes under and around so using my rope I'm going to pull that through and this is where it's important to get that uh, loop as tight as possible pull that in now before you go any further now at this point it goes around and underneath the next strand so that's what we're going to do but then it goes over this bit it then goes through the hole then goes over this strand here and finishes off underneath and through that hole there. Now at that point we can then work on magic pulling each of the four strands to make sure that knot is as tight as possible and then finally we want to finish with what's called a stopper knot taking in this end uh, and uh, making sure uh, it doesn't unthread itself at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, uh, make a loose loop, starting a little bit higher than the knot itself, do another one, and finish off by placing the end through the holes uh, and away from the knot. Now at this point it'll be easy just to pull that nice and tight and pull it away from you, but as you're doing that, you're then creating a little bit of a hole there, a little bit of a loop, that could cause some problems. So what we want to do now to make it nice and neat is to rotate with my left hand as we're pulling in with the right. That makes the figure of eight there and the stopper knot all butted up together and uh, looking really smart, ready to go.